I thought I'd vlog today. Got a little session to be done at the track. Few excels and uh, some 100s. About to make some breakfast. Just uh, feeling a bit lazy today. It's one of those ones. You know when your first week of winter, when your training's tough. But we have some fun with it. I'm watching the little one at the moment. Causing havoc as per. My little USN stash. Yeah. Causing havoc as per. Um, what will I be having today? I'll be touching on my trust bars later. Um, I'll probably take... You right there? Yeah, you, you shouldn't really be uh, having that. She's coming, she's coming! No! I'll be taking this little pre-workout before I train. A little 3 XT. look at me, I need, I need to shave. I don't even grow that much facial hair, but I need to shave. I'm on the older uh, brioche, uh, brioche rolls. She wants her toast, she's seen it. Relax yourself. Toast monster. So I'm gonna make a quick little breakfast, few eggs, little brioche roll. Don't know what the majority of you guys be eating out there. I never really like to train on a full stomach. Training on a full stomach's long for me, especially when you're sprinting. Does anyone get them like egg techniques where they like, they can do it with one hand? Ooh, I'm the boss. Breakfast of champions, mate. Simple. Couple eggs, little bit of brioche. Oh, hang on, hang on, I'm forgetting a little, just a little, just a little, just a little bit of ketchup. As my niece would say, catch up. I know I'm doing a little bit of running today. We're easing ourselves back in. So yeah, I like to start my day with a little coffee. My little Pure Sports CBD in there. I'm taking my pre-workout. Simple. We'll be taking to training. I've got my um, Raspberry Ripple Blue Lab Way for post-session training. Sometimes I struggle to get food in straight away. So obviously supplement that with some protein. I've had my coffee, obviously a little bit of a little caffeine spike, but I like to take my 3XT with me. It's got a nice amount of caffeine in there for me, 200 milligrams. Some people like a bit more. I just like a little steady state, but um, it's got the usual beta alanine and all that stuff to give you the tingles, but really and truly, it's just all about the caffeine to get that little spike up. I'll take that now, and then it's, um, get my jacket on, and it's off we go. Track side, indoors to start with. I had to uh, jazz it up with the older red top. Gets lonely training by yourself though, but we're gonna get it in. I've got my guys here with me. Yeah, I'm gonna pass over the lens because I've got to get to it. I've got to warm up. But today's session, again, first week back, a few light excels, and gonna do some hundreds with very little recovery in between. So let's get it. Coach always sets a little uh, way things look, love it. And today, look at that. Session all there. I should hide it like most people. A little secret. Not allowed to see my secret. Sunny. <laughs> Don't let the sun fool you, that's why I'm inside. <laughs> I literally said to Mark, I was like, I hope he trains indoors today. <laughs> Obviously gonna be using the glutes, gonna be using the hamstrings, but I've actually stretched a little bit, done a few drills. It's just basically increasing that pulse and heart rate. No trim today. Yeah, man, I've been using China. Still got this creatine in my car. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you need to on the size. The B4 bomb, I bought it from yeah. Asda, innit? No, you need like a good six milligrams a day. Six grams a day. If I say protein, I took some a little bit last week, this week, and already I could feel like right, but some coming up with each other. Because it holds a lot of water mass as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I do these types of sessions, obviously that's where if you want to be a bit lighter or yeah, yeah, moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Five minutes later, Mark's taking a picture. What are you figuring out? Rather than the continuous focus, so when you move, it continuously track you. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. Technically, you're still trying to have a lot of fluency and efficiency in the movements you're doing. So like right now, I'm gonna do a straight leg run into some form of high knee A run. I'll do a couple of fast legs on each side, and then that's pretty much done. A bit more mobility, and then we're gonna hit what we need to hit, not need us. Looking for good motion, keeping the toes dorsiflex as I'm hitting the ground, gone, carrying that momentum, going through the hamstrings and glutes. Obviously, I had a hamstring surgery last year, so this is where that fast tendon comes in. in that pre-workout just right. Doesn't take long to kick in, do you know what I mean? I always like to have it towards the end of the session or midpoint of the session so I get that little boost. A little build up, mobilizing. Just so airy when you train by yourself. Might as well put ad back this thing. Training partners when I'm down south. Build up. All right, first part of the session, it's all about repetition. So two sets of three twenties, walk back recovery. So that's six reps in total. I'm gonna to be timing them for my own use because obviously I'm not a coach here. You're timing things with an electric timer or whatever you use, whether it's a three lap, I use the X timer. Just gives the session a little bit more purpose. Again, first week, we're not really trying to break world records and stuff, but it's all about efficiency and just getting the body. The body's got to get back conditioned to this sort of stuff. I was on holiday last week, do you know what I mean? I'm just living that up. I'm focusing 20 meters back and forth, so that's six reps, and then we're outside, basically back to back hundreds in about 12 seconds or so, which doesn't sound fast, not really fast, but when it's back to back, non stop, you feel it. <laughs> First few steps, push, push, push. Work the arms, fire the chest, keep the toes dorsal flexed, and move. So I haven't got too much time, like I said, it's all about recovery. Just gonna quickly check the time I did, and we go straight in, cheeky. 2.9, relatively simple, relatively easy. Rep two. Third rep, this is the last one on the first set. Again, I'm in flats and I'm training if I switch it up. But yeah, keep moving, that's a bit faster. Now we move. Fastest rep, 291. Obviously, over 20 meters in flats. I mean, we don't really focus on timing 20s like this, especially this time of year. So I'm working at about 95%. Let's see if I can drop a little 289 or something and we'll move from there. This is the only thing about sprinting. Even though I'm doing 20s, literally, it takes me longer to slow down. So I'm breathing heavy. Remember my mathematics out here, you know what I mean? Minimize the mileage, they say. Not with these bagels. It's difficult one in trainers. Sometimes we're focused mainly on 30s. Um, sub four seconds is like the unique number that everyone goes for. If you're a good 60 meter sprinter, we're a good starter. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. 
for me with a reaction time. I like to target in around three nine. So your 20 meters to 30 meters tends to be about one second. If you can get that 0.99, then you're happy. But ideally you wanna be at that 10 meters per second by that point, which I do tend to be at in training is harder. So if I'm hitting 290 on my last one, that one, I just went 291. So, so I'm starting to fatigue now because I'm just walking back, I'm banging these out. So I've hit my peak, 290. Let's see if I can get back close to that. And then we work our way back down. So again, in flats, three point start, in spikes and all that stuff in the summer, a little bit faster. So if you're looking at two eights, so you find a 10. But right now, I'm keeping it moving. Straight back in for the next rep. We're not stopping. Good vibes. Cheeky, again, we're not talking comp. I'm in my flats, a little three point start. But this is obviously how I'm activating myself to get ready for my main part of my session. So now a bit of endurance outside. Tempo runs, we're talking 10 100s back to back, 12 seconds. Uh, so yeah, that's my problem with that. However, my guys here behind the camera reckon they want to have a little go. They see 285, they've got gas. I think you man need to have a little go. Let's swap, we're going to swap. So here we got in lane one, we've got the videography session. Do you know what I mean? All about the videos and that. Yeah. yeah, and then in lane two, we got Mark, also representing We Work With Brands. 20 meters, here we go. The timer's on. Here we go. Set. Go! <laughs> so look, straight up. Here we got it. Mark, a little 3.27, Ayrton 3.24. It was close. I'll take it. it was close. I'll take three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we're coming to the rescue. But that's how we do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that simple? Obviously, I'm a 285 out here. Do you know what I mean? These guys wanted to see what they can do, but that gives you an idea of how fast I'm moving. But these guys, they bang gym. They're fit. They're not too bad. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but now I've got to carry on. Outside we go. How we go? Cold. And it's cold. Don't let the light fool you. We're in the UK. But I'm still gonna wear shorts. Let the legs out, do you know what I mean? Kapow. Kapow. Something I learned from a, some of my bodybuilders at USN, you know what I mean? <laughs> We're back to back anyway, we're going back and forth so we can set up wherever. Quick recovery in between. Eight 100s, calves are gonna be painful after. Literally, early on this week, I got cramp one of my last reps. So this is my third running session this week. I've done gym once already, I'm gonna to gym tomorrow. This is how we move, first few weeks of winter, or full training as some Americans call it. We call it winter because we go straight into winter. Enjoying the cold. Again, I don't like timing myself, so I'm gonna use my little timing system. I'm aiming for about 12 seconds. So again, nothing too fast bearing in mind. I'm a 10 flat runner, two seconds off, but repetition, it hurts. <laughs> them out, little walk back and walk back. Oh, so I've only got two and a bit minutes in between each reps. Consistent around that 12 mark. Another six more, yay. I'm oh, wrapping them out, about to get going. And you got that two and a bit minutes. No, I have an asthma. These sessions I sound bad, but I'm just I'm just being brave right now. That heavy chest.
churning them out, repetition. I hate this point in the season. Higher volume, slower reps, but it gets you. It works you. Coming out of WWF. <laughs> was that table chairs and others match? Stone Cold. Ah, see. So they've actually set it up where it's got all different meters and that's yeah, actually yeah. dope. So when you save it, you know what? Quick bit stop. Oh. Chair common handy. Oh. Got some time to kill. Oh, not that long. Oh. Now it's all right. <laughs> Timing systems, eh? Oh, halfway through. This is what we love it though, we love it. Welcome to Harry's bed night slumber. <laughs> this, is, this is the best sleeping position right here. Left arm goes dead after a while, but makes a good pillow. Your right arm's limp, but he's in a good position. Hamstrings are flat. Yeah, nice way to relax. Oh, so that was decent. RPE scale, I'd give that a seven, eight. It wasn't crazy hard. It's just hard getting moving again by yourself after being on holiday. A little bit of fun. Chilling. <laughs> but it's one of those ones where you just get through. Third running session of the week, the calves are burning. We've got gym tomorrow, but we're not done. Because I've got some accessory jumps to do right now. So I'm gonna get up like Superman and get these jumps done. We ain't got time. We ain't got time. Get up. doing CrossFit, they make you do cardio first. For me, that hurts. Boom, we're done, just like that. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've got some hamstring accessory work to go and do. But I'm gonna go do that at home. And I'm my little pro protein, because I ain't gonna eat in the next half hour. I need to recover. I'm gonna go get in Derek, and I'm gonna see you guys later. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and all that jazz. Leave a comment below if you fancy doing a session like this. Do you know what? It's fun to train like me. Might fight one time. Until next time, people.
Adios. See you in a bit.